Hello, Bishop Carroll students and staff. Welcome to our 2020 Bishop Carroll Advent celebration. We're going to have this short celebration uh, with some prayer and a video clip. And we ask that uh, you can just engage in this and please uh, enter in with prayer and with thanksgiving. I know we're in very unique times, but it's great that we have technology. So thank you so much. And I also want to thank ahead of time uh, Tina Tran, who will be in this video, as well as uh, Mrs. Siona, and all the students who are in the choir who are singing O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Thank you so much. And thank you to all of you uh, for your, your work and your diligence during this time. the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. During the season of Advent, we are invited here and respond to the call of Christ to be watchful in prayer. Let us begin our celebration with our opening prayer. Look with favor, Lord God, on our petitions, and in our trials, grant us compassionate help that consoled by the presence of your Son, whose coming we now await, we may be tainted no longer by the corruption of former ways. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide what his ears hear, but with righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide the equity for the meek of this earth he shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist, and faithfulness the belt around his lungs. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the lion are and the flat line together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. 
their young ch shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the apse, and the weakened child should put his hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy, or on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of knowledge of the Lord, and the waters cover the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse shall stand as a signal to all the peoples. The nations shall inquire him, and his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, our Lord shall come with power. He will enlighten the eyes of his servants. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The seventy returned with joy and told Jesus all that they had done. At the same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except the Father, or who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Then turning to the disciples, Jesus said to them privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On December 17, 1903, the Wright brothers flew for the first time at Kitty Hawk Airport in North Carolina. It happened on their fifth attempt. Orville was the one that was decided on the fifth attempt to fly, and when he took off, he flew for 12 seconds. Upon landing, his brother Wilbur ran to the telegram office and sent a message back home to his sister Catherine. It said, we have flown for 12 seconds. We will be home for Christmas. When his sister Catherine received the message, she ran to the local newspaper and met with the senior editor to explain that their brothers and their new flying machine had flown for 12 seconds and that they would be home for Christmas if he would like to set up an interview. And he said that would be nice and he would be sure to put something in the newspaper for the boys the next day. While well, two days later on December 19th, on the sixth page of the newspaper, it said, Wright Brothers, home for Christmas. The editor had missed the major headline of that year, Man Flies for the First Time. I wonder if the same could be said for us when it comes to Christmas. If we look in the newspapers and the flyers or we go online, what are the headlines? Sale, 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 buy, buy, buy. And if this is what's captured our hearts this Christmas, we've missed the major headline. And we're setting ourselves up for disappointment this Christmas. You see, Christmas peace doesn't come from sales or discounts. It doesn't come from mistletoe. It doesn't come from Santa flying reindeer or singing songs. It doesn't come from tasty treats, though I like tasty treats a lot. Christmas peace doesn't come from a product. It comes from a person, Jesus Christ. The days leading up to Christmas aren't supposed to be about sales and discounts. The days leading up to Christmas are properly called Advent, which is a time where we can prepare our hearts to receive Christ 
This Christmas, I invite you, when you go forward to receive Jesus in the Eucharist at Mass, open your hearts to Him in a new way, to receive the greatest gift of all, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to be allowed to be reborn in that second manger, our hearts. See, He's the headliner at Christmas. And if we're not focused on Him, we'll miss out on Christmas peace. Prayer of the Faithful. Strengthening those who guide us in faith, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Bring peace to our world, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For the good of the Catholic education, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Strengthen our hopes in days to come, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Increase our ability to trust in God, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Fill us with expectant faith and prepare our hearts to welcome Christ, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Teach us to see and judge rightly that we may walk in the ways of the Lord. Lord, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. For the needs of all who have asked for our prayers, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our concluding prayer. May your sacred word, O Lord, teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.